I'm going to do both of them. Which oblique would make sense to do first? Why? Right. Because if I turn her medial, then I can go lateral, oblique, and then lateral. I'm going to think about how it's, um, how your sequencing is going to be uh, comfortable for your patient's positioning. You don't want to keep flipping them around back and forth, right? Just like if you're doing multiple exams, you would do like an AP ankle, an AP T. Uh, uh, tip fib, AP knee, and then do your laterals. You're not going to have them, okay, now I'm doing the ankle, now I'm doing the tip fib. You know, it's not by, it's not by body exam, it's by the part that's comfortable for the patient. You follow? So right now you're just learning the exams, but eventually that's part of your critical thinking is how to sequence it so that you can get everything done for the patient's comfort. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is just turn slightly towards your left side. I'm going to put a little sponge here just to help you be comfortable. Go ahead and straighten out your leg. Now, this causes a lot of stress on the knee. So if she's having swelling or discomfort, you might want to just put a little sponge there so it helps them kind of relax the knee down because that hurts when you, have, um, when you have swelling in the knee. So remember, what does this do to the patella now when we're 45 degrees rotated? Where are we seeing the patella? Hmm? Well, it's not anterior, but it's... Medial condyle. Yeah, it's medially. So it's right over the medial condyle. Right? So it's right there. So we're now we're centering just to the lateral side of the patella. Show them the X of the knee. Yeah. Okay? Other than that, nothing changes. My marker's still going to go right here. Probably put it right about at the middle. So this is what it's going to look like. See, the patella is just over the medial condyle. And so the central ratio is to the lateral side of the patella. Now we're going to do the lateral oblique. Okay, go ahead and lay on your back again. Now roll slightly towards me. So you may want to just for her comfort, give her a little cushion under her hip for the other leg. You don't necessarily need it for this leg, but just so they can hold their position. So you can see how the patella is going to the lateral side. So you're at the apex level and then at the lateral side here. And you notice I had to go up just a little bit? Somehow that happens when patients start moving around. They always tend to scoot up a little bit or down a little bit. They never quite exactly stay in the same place. Okay. Again, keep your marker on the lateral side. And now we have the lateral. Do you have a question? No. Okay. All right. So now... Take the sponge, go ahead and turn all the way on your right side. Now remember, when they're rolling like this, this is a wide table, but sometimes the tables aren't as wide or the patient might be wide. Or, 